Hey Leos, what's poppin'? It's Ann from Cancer Moon's Tarot here. Welcome back to my channel. Let's see what's going on for the month of June. This is your June love tarot reading, all right? Let's see what's going on for all my Leos in love in the month of June, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, as well as singles and couples. Let's get a pop. And one more shuffle, and I feel it, and we're good to go. All right. Definitely, definitely some interesting energy I'm feeling here today. Let's see what's going on, Leo. First card is you. Second card is who you're dealing with in love. Third card is the outcome. Someone can be causing you a headache, is at least what's coming to me. You know, something's a headache, a, situa a situation's a headache. Of course something's a headache. Leo, I see you taking a break from someone or someone's taking a break from you. I see you taking time to think, go back into your head. For some, you're feeling a situation is a little too much to manage right now, a little too hard to deal, and you're going to retreat, okay? So I strongly feel that right now you are going to retreat from somebody, you are going to take a break from somebody or a certain situation. With this Three of Cups being at the bottom, you can be taking a break from somebody who is in a third-party situation or taking a break from somebody who brings you happiness, all right? As to the person you're currently dealing with here, Leo, person you're currently dealing with here. Okay, so the person who you're dealing with seems like an overall, um, an overall well-balanced person. They are giving you the emotion. They are giving you positive emotion, you know. They're matching your vibration, okay, with the Six of Pentacles. You give them just as much love that you will receive just as much love back. You give them little love, and they'll mirror that and give you little love. So I feel as if with whoever you're dealing with here, they are mirroring your actions towards them. You both mirror each other. For some, I like to call this one of my twin flame uh, relation cards that you can be dealing with a twin flame here. I see you taking a break from something here that's making you happy, though. This person overall doesn't seem like they're doing anything wrong. They can be someone who's making you happy, but you're taking a break for, uh, from them for some certain reason. What is the overall reason here that Leo's maybe taking a break? Some of you feel like you're still carrying burdens from the past. That's why you can be taking a break from this person. You feel like you're carrying burdens from the past, um, and you know it's just a little too much weight on your shoulders for you to handle, so you need to retreat and try to purge and eliminate these burdens that are going on with you, Leo. I also see at the bottom of the deck you do have desire for somebody or somebody has desire for you, but at least I do see here as well with this Two of Cups energy and this Empress energy, um, this is something that can come in for you, something that's nice and stable. With this at the bottom of the deck as well, it will be something that's, um, something that's slow, something that's slow-paced, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Leo. So whoever you're connecting with here, they're a balanced, well-rounded person. And I do see you moving into some sort of energy where you guys will unite together and be together as well as be nurtured. For some, you could be having children with this person. Um, is what I'm seeing here. I see you taking a break though from something that's making you happy because you're still holding on to burdens of the past. You know, if you really are happy with someone, if someone's making you happy, then move forward with them. As for the outcome card though, I see the ace of wands. I see new beginnings between you and this person. Can be connecting with a Sagittarian, Aries, Leo, but I see new beginnings with you, or new beginnings for you with this person you're dealing with here. Um, it can just be expansion and growth as well. can be expansion and growth. But with this Two of Cups energy, you definitely have a relationship that's coming on the horizon because the Two of Cups is an offer that's, an, that's already accepted, okay? It's an offer that's accepted. What else is going on for my Leos, please? June, overall month of June 2018. So I definitely see you communicating with this person. I feel like in the past you didn't put much work into this effort or put much effort into this connection. Um, I do see something coming to light though and something being enlightened, especially that you didn't have control over. Um, I feel strongly this is influenced by the moon and the shifts that are coming in with this moon, this new moon in Taurus. Something came out that you didn't expect. Can be that somebody wants to reconcile with you or somebody wants to be with you, Leo. But I'm overall, like overall I'm seeing that someone here communicated that they still have feelings for you. So that's what I'm seeing that what's coming for you in June can have happened now already or it can resonate upcoming in the future but that's what kind of what i'm seeing here for you leo yeah new relations on the horizon for sure with this four cups in the reverse leos you guys have a new relationship that's coming to you like i said there's an offer that's going to be here if this is reconciliation just because i said new relations here doesn't mean it's a new person it just means you're having a new relationship a new start with this person as well as with the ace of wands it means a new beginning for some this is reconciliation but regardless i see a relationship that's coming to you this is a good relationship this is someone who treats you right someone who is balanced someone who is taking care of you okay um my personal yeah look this is somebody who you wished for this is someone who you wish for someone who you feel very fulfilled with someone who you feel very content with leo if you're taking because that's the energy I pulled first. First card's the strongest. If you're taking a break from this person, 
even though they are your happiness because you're still holding on to burdens from the past or things from the past, I advise you to purge. I advise you to let it go because whoever this person is you're dealing with here is a good person. This is someone where I see great things between you two. I see amazing things between you two as well as you could be connecting with a cha with, with the chariot, a cancer. But by you connecting with the chariot, this is you moving forward with this person. The chariot follows the star. You're moving in the right direction. Okay, you're moving towards destiny where you're supposed to be. All right, guys. Leos, whoever this person is, they're a good person, an overall well-rounded person. Some of you, I see you taking a leap of faith and giving this a chance. You guys may take a leap of faith and give this a chance. Can be connecting with an Aries too, Leo. But this is a relationship that's coming. And speaking of you, here's your energy. From, so from the Leo to the, or from the strength card to the to the fool, this is you giving that leap of faith. You taking that leap of faith, having the strength to take that leap of faith. Um, I strongly feel with this burdens, you guys are thinking of someone from the past or dealing with things that haven't been resolved in the past. I strongly advise you, Leos, to let the past be the past, let the burdens be the burdens, and carry on with this amazing person you're dealing with here because I feel nothing but good energy around or surrounding this person is what I'm seeing here. This person is somebody who's very, very, very beautiful. Somebody here who really, really, this is the type of person who uploads on Instagram every single day and is always popping and is someone who's a bad bitch. If you're a guy looking for girls, is a bad bitch. If you're a girl, it's a guy who's just always out nice, looking good. Someone who's truthful. Someone who gets a lot of attention as well, I feel. One more card for my Leos here. But overall, you guys have a good you guys have a good month of June that's coming up for you. Hold on one second. Yes, there we go. And I do see you. I see you communicating to this person that you are releasing the negativity that you're experiencing here. The thing the thing, the burden you're carrying, you're gonna release it. I strongly feel you're going to release this burden. You're going to communicate to the other person. I have done my work. I have eliminated all toxicities from my life. I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready to move on. Exactly going right here. I'm telling you guys strongly your burden is about a past heartbreak. I feel I feel that's why you are taking a break from this new person because you still have to mend your heart from the old. All right. But this person here, there's a lot of expansion and growth. There's there are things to move forward with this person can be connecting with any sign for that matter. But what I do see here, big energy with Aries, big energy with Piscean. Um, as well as Aquarian. Big energy though, big air energy, big water energy, big fire energy, all energies overall, but just with the major arcana cards I'm trying to hit here. Overall though, guys, seriously, this looks good. As I said before, the Piscean can be connecting with the Piscean as well, but you have love for this person or this person has love for you, you have to make the decision. But I see nothing but good things going into this path if you take the decision with them, if you decide to be with them. I see new beginnings, I see you guys taking the chance, and I see positive outcomes. Overall, Leos, you guys have a pretty amazing June read. So if you're taking a break from this situation and it's making you happy, please just purge, release all the negativity from the past, and move forward with this person. I see nothing but good news. Leos, have a good one. I appreciate all of you, and let me know if it resonates down below. Peace.